call this committee of the whole meeting to order. Um, members of the audience are welcome to ask questions and share insights on committee of the whole agenda items as they are being considered by the school board. Please raise your hand to be recognized by the board president. You are asked to come to the microphone so that everyone can hear your question or idea. We ask that you keep your comments focused on the agenda item being considered. Can I have a roll call vote, please? Present. Michelle Jepson. Here. Nathaniel Mountain. Present. Deb Olson. Here. Marcia Schurz. Here. Paul Johnson. Here. A motion to approve the agenda as written. I so move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. All right. We're going to move to item two, the presentations. Um, student staff community recognition. Um, there are a lot of you here this evening, which is fabulous. So once we get done with all of the recognitions, if everyone would move to the hallway, please, so that the paper can take a picture of you as a group would be great. So we'll move, we'll do them one by one, but we'd like a group photo for everyone. So, all right. And all right. So um, the first one tonight, do you want these? OK. The first one tonight is Heidi Chrisman. And the um, nom nominating um, administrator is Mr. Schurz. Um, Heidi did a great job putting together an outstanding graduation ceremony this past spring. She continued to do great work over the summer, supporting the high school as well as taking, um, taking calls. She is a true professional that understands the importance of her job and continues to go above and beyond job expectations. Thank you, Heidi. Can we have a round of applause, please? And the next one is Mr. Hopke. And Mr. Berghammer is the um, nominating administrator tonight. Uh, Pete Hopke has done a wonderful job of putting me in the position to be successful. He has been such a great resource through this transition, making it go as smoothly as possible. Mr. Hopke's willingness to help answer any questions and sharing his insight has been above and beyond the call of duty. He is obviously very professional in his approach to education and kids. I really appreciate and respect Mr. Hopke for all his help. Thank you. A round of applause, please. And next up is Hugh Miller. And administra um, nomination administrator is Dr. Aslan. And Hugh, for his leadership during district construction during the summer of 2021, Mr. Miller demonstrated initiative and flexibility to successfully meet the challenges of district-wide construction projects in order to sustain technology operations district-wide, as well as serving students and staff members. His dedication to his duties sets an excellent example across the Spooner Area School District. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Round of applause, please. All right, next up is Justin Mayberry and Steve Fulton. And um, nomination administrator is Dr. Aslan um, for their hard work and dedication during the district construction during summer of 2021. Mr. Mayberry and Mr. Fulton demonstrated outstanding initiative and flexibility in the face of challenges of district wide construction projects, as well as start of school year responsibilities in support of students and staff members. Their willingness to go the extra mile in support of the SASD mission sets an excellent example across the Spooner Area School District. Thank you. All right. And next up is Ryan Predney. Nominating Administrator, Dr. Aslan. For his leadership during district construction, during the summer of 2021, Mr. Predney demonstrated outstanding initiative and flexibility in the face of challenges of district-wide construction projects, as well as start of school year responsibilities and support of students and staff members. His dedication to his duties sets an excellent example across the Spooner Area School District. Thank you. Round of applause, please. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. Sorry. Read the names. Okay. Are they coming up? Oh. Okay. All right. So I'm going to read everybody's name. And if you would come forward, please. Nominating administrator is Dr. Aslan. Uh, Bill Allard, Ken Mesa Comer, Jane Hale, Ron Bowers, Tony Kraus, um, Jeff Slaby, Aaron Carls, Pat Bartle, Barry Zine, and Tony Line. And Ryan, could you please step up as well? <laughs> we are recognizing all of these individuals tonight for their hard work and dedication during the summer of 2021. Bill, Ken, Jane, Ron, Tony, Jeff, Aaron, Pat, Barry, Tony, Sarah, Nope, oh, I missed the... <laughs> the ladies, the ladies will come up in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> I kind of missed that one. They were all together. And so, okay. So we'll, we'll go on with those in a minute here. Um, just outstanding initiative and flexibility in the face of twin challenges of district-wide construction projects as well as the start of the school year responsibilities in support of students and staff members. Their willingness to go the extra mile in support of the SASD missions sets an excellent example across the Spooner Area School District. Um, everybody, thank you. Applause, please. Okay, so now, <laughs> if I could have the Paris step up, please. Sarah Melton, Kathy Kafura, Tracy DePolis, Angie Buckman, Heidi Lostad, and Tate Nordback. There. <laughs> All right, and again, <laughs> for their hard work and dedication during the summer of 2021, um, demonstrated outstanding initiative and flexibility in the face of twin challenges of district-wide construction projects, as well as the start of the school year responsibilities in support of students and staff members. Their willingness to go the extra mile in support of the SASD mission sets an excellent example across the Spooner Area School District. So thank you very much. A round of applause, please. Yes, please. If everyone would step into the hall, that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to all take your certificates with you, then I think maybe she can. All right. All right. So while they're taking a photo, we're going to continue on here. Um, and we're going to move on to item B, the referendum project update. Uh, Brad Kunkel is here from CISA 10. Hey, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. Um, David, I'm not sure if you did want to speak on school specialties at all, or I can roll You know, we well. we have that as the next agenda item, Brad. Understand. So if you want to do the uh, update and then okay. architectural sure. news, that'll be great. Okay, sounds good. Before I get uh, uh, going with the construction update, I do just want to let you know, um, in the last month or so, SDS Architects has merged with River Valley Architects. Um, so, you know, we have the same project team. Nothing's changed per our contract. Just want to make you fully aware. Um, if anything, we should have more resources to complete this project moving forward. Okay. As for the construction updates, uh, looking at air conditioning at the elementary school, uh, the chiller is currently set right now. We're going to be filling those lines with water, washing out the pipes here this week. Um, getting glycol into the system hopefully next week and potentially the end of next week we can fully activate the air conditioning system at the elementary so uh, good news there for the flooring replacement uh, the initial um, balance of flooring that we received is all installed there's a few, few classrooms that do not currently have it installed that balance was manufactured and completed the end of last week so we're working right now to work with the flooring installer um, get it installed as soon as we can on the weekends um, so hopefully yet this uh, month we can take care of that 
uh, for um, kind of site work that took place at the north parking lot. Uh, the binder course was down. All site work that we had to do underground was completed over the summer. Um, looking at some ponding issues, we are going to move forward with putting on the final course um, where there's currently a binder course for the asphalt. So hopefully we get a little better watershed in those areas. Uh, for uh, gym floor resurfacing, uh, the bleacher contractors just skipping around a little bit are on site over at the middle school just to prep for the elementary school. They did refinish the portion of the gym where the bleachers will be installed at. Um, the remainder of that resurfacing will take place next summer. Looking at the addition, um, as you can see right now, blocks going up. We have about another week and a half of block to uh, finish that out. Um, electrical and plumbing is taking place as now as well, even though you can't quite see that as good. Um, perhaps the end of next week, worst case, the following week, uh, we'll be starting to brick that up. And it's we're looking to stay on schedule. Um, structural steel, uh, decking, and joists is going to arrive the week of October 12th. That's kind of always been set in the schedule since bids were received and awarded. Um, so we're looking pretty good to maintain schedule there. Uh, we had a couple of bottle fill stations swapped out in lieu of uh, uh, water phones. Um, that work is complete. Uh, for new electronic signage at the elementary school, that underground work was complete. The actual signage will be installed next summer. For the middle school, uh, replaced quite a few restroom fixtures. Um, that is all complete, good to go. Uh, working out, a, there's about three sinks with some mixing valve issues that uh, we're working on, um, getting a better design for that. For the uh, new office and small gym demolition, we are still working um, basically on a daily basis to try and get all the design information needed for that. We should be good to go, but we do not have the official documentation for pricing yet. Should definitely be getting that this week. In the meantime, we do know the next scope that's needed, which will be the final cuts. Receive pricing on that today, approve pricing. So hopefully the end of this week, if not beginning of next week, we can start working on that and, and getting back going to get that building out of the ground. For roofing replacement, everything's complete except for two sections of roof. Um, need to have ballast, the rock put back on it. Um, the roofer's crane broke down. They couldn't rent a big enough one to get it back on there, so it's it's really just waiting for parts for that crane right now. For the Anthol's gym uh, flooring replacement, that work was completed Friday. Uh, bleacher contractors arrived today. Should be done within a week for that. Uh, the carpenter who's going to be installing the furred out walls, they're going to be on site tomorrow. It's going to be a bit of a walkthrough. I'm still hoping to get them on site and be hopefully finish by the end of next week to turn that back over the district. Um, flooring replacement, it's uh, all rooms that were expected to be completed are done with the exclusion of two different areas. Um, gonna be looking at likely uh, Thanksgiving or winter break to complete that work. Uh, interior lighting upgrades. Had a lot of lead time issues swapped out, some substitutions a few times down the road. All the materials that we did have on hand prior to school starting are installed. Um, looking at the three level uh, portion of the building, that's gonna be surface mounted lighting. We did not receive that material. As we do receive it, we're gonna work nights and weekends to get that completed. Then for the uh, emergency generator, Generator is set, uh, going to be looking at turning that or connecting it to the school October 16th. We also have a construction bulletin out for slight change in site scope, waiting on that but fully expecting to have everything complete prior to winter. Any questions on the construction update? Any questions? One question for you, Brad. <coughs> will uh, will the middle school be able to hold a uh, phi ed class in the gym while the bleacher installs going on in the event of uh, weather that doesn't allow outside or uh, learning that would occur up in the fitness area? Do, do you see we're likely going to get some rain tomorrow? Um, right now you should have the east half of the gym available if needed as well as the mezzanine area where all the workout equipment is. Any other questions? 
Okay. Thank you. We'll receive and place this information on file. So um, we're going to move on now to item C, um, which is discuss um, the referendum construction project furniture purchase. Dr. Eisen, do you want to start with this? Yeah, uh, thank you, Mrs. Olson. So, um, you know, with all this great construction going on, we do have some areas, uh, because they didn't exist before, that we're going to have to furnish. And that was part of the referendum plan right from the, con the concept phase. Um, purchasing furnishings for school, I guess if I was going to draw a comparison, it'd be kind of like buying a new car. You know, if you, if you want a new Chevy Tahoe, you're not going to go to the Volkswagen dealer to get one. And it's kind of like that with school furniture as well. And what we're really working towards is well, uh, while we know we need to buy new furniture, we want our buildings to look great building wide. So we're trying to trying to work with a vendor and a product line that will go with what we already have, as opposed to throwing everything out and starting from scratch or having these beautiful buildings just not not looking good because of uh, furnishing. So with that, I'm gonna. Pitch it to you, Brad. Okay. And just to uh, add to that, I guess, you know, furniture vendors, they supply uh, pricing to the state, you know, once a year. So bidding out this work, the only advantage to it would be seeing if you could build new relationships. You're going to, you know, and get options and products, basically. But with the school already having interior concepts in their offices and school specialties as proprietor to that, um, if you're going to reutilize that and, and be as efficient as you can, you're pretty much limited to school specialties. With that as well, they've worked with the district the past few years. My understanding is a good relationship. That's the biggest thing you want with a vendor. Um, he's he's been working on this project, you know, not being guaranteed the work to try and keep things moving along. Um, and for me personally, I've worked with them on my last few projects and. He's one of the most reputable out there for sure and, and don't see any issues with moving forward with them. So with that, we are looking at the elementary school cafeteria, 4K classrooms, new office and music room, as well as the middle school new office. Had them provide a conservative number and we would look at going into a two not exceed contract of $150,828. Any questions for that? I believe it's just for consideration. That would be my recommendation come the board meeting. So yeah, no action night. Um, yep. How does that fall within the budget? We're honestly, you know, there's it's it's been kind of painful with manpower and scheduling and keeping things moving. We received great bids back in February, and we're still sitting very good. We we've pushed back on a lot of cost escalators, so really liking where our budget's currently at. So you, you, you wouldn't see this figure, this not to exceed figure uh, as a hardship or straining the budget at all? Honestly, it's, it's more like a drop in the bucket right now. Okay. Any further questions for Mr. Kunkel? Okay, with that said, do we have consensus to move this to the regular board meeting? Yes. 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 All right. Okay, Great. thank you. Thank you, Brad. All right, we're going to move on to item D, uh, discuss the line of credit. Um, Trish, would you like to come up and give us a little overview? There's some potential coming up at the end of December, January, that we'll be looking for um, some short-term borrowing. Uh, we're asking for 2.5 million. That's the same we've been asking for the last three years. Um, and it's usually paid back in January when we get that tax money in, so we avoid high interest panel payments. Okay. And this is something that we've been doing, we've been doing on a regular basis, correct? Yeah. Okay. Is this with the same vendor or same bank? It would be with CCF Bank, yes. Okay, thank you. What, what was the time to pay it back again, Trish, how long? Usually January when we get our first tax payment in. Okay. Any other questions for Trish? No? 
Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Do I have consensus to move this to the regular board meeting? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. And we're moving on to item E, the annual seclusion and restraint report. Mr. Hopke. Hi, good evening. Um, I believe everyone has uh, a memo uh, document, documenting this information. So it's just recalling um, what's, what's occurred over the past year. Um, one thing that's a little bit different that started uh, in the 2020 school uh, year, March 4th, so it was 12 days before we closed down, it was a state law that required that we separate information into seclusion only, restraint only, or both. And that's where we have that table at the bottom indicating uh, the different uh, areas. Uh, last year, we had a, a grand total of 13. Granted, all of them are at the elementary school, but is um, taking a look at um, the individuals there and uh, some students with some uh, significant needs. And also, we had a couple, a couple runners, so we got some running shoes on a couple times there. So, um, but it was definitely a, uh, a definite decrease from the previous year of 21, and we're just seeing a downward trend here. So doing a lot better job with training, uh, getting behavior plans set for kids that are working, and, and making sure that staff know how to work with those students. Any questions? Any questions? Those numbers potentially could be the same individual, right? Jack, absolutely. Awesome, thanks. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, all right. Um, if we can re um, receive and place that information on file. All right, the next item is the 30, 60, 90 play day planning cycle. And everybody, I'm assuming, has had a chance to review that information. Is there any questions regarding um, the 30, day, 30, 60, 90 day planning cycle in any of the buildings? Okay, if there's no questions, then we are going to receive and place that information on file. And then item G, the financial update. Dr. Eisen? Here's a financial update. And uh, again, on our cycle, we are looking at the month of July 2021. Um, we began the, the month with a checking account balance of $3,587,046.19. During that time, we had uh, receipts of uh, $235,858.31. Uh, during that time, we had uh, total expenditures of $1,403,225.75. So the uh, general cash balance at the end of July 2021 was 2 million. Four hundred nineteen thousand eight hundred seventy, or I'm sorry, six hundred seventy-eight dollars and seventy-five cents. Any questions for Dr. Eslin? Okay, we're going to receive and place that information on file as well, and we're going to move to item H, um, approval of the vouchers. Everybody had a chance to look over those. Is there any questions? I know we got those a little late today. That's okay, no problem. Um, just, <laughs> yep, yep. So is there any questions regarding that? Regarding those? Nope, good. Okay, all right. <laughs> then um, do we have con consensus to move to the regular board meeting as part of the consent agenda? Yes. Yes, yes. all right. All right, we're moving into item three, convening to close session, pursuant to Wisconsin statutes 19.85, parent one, parent C, to consider the employment, promotion, compensation, or performance evaluation data of any public employee over which the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercises responsibility. May I have a motion to go into closed session, please? I will so move. Second. Roll call vote, please, Jesse. Yes. Michelle Jepson. Yes. Daniel yes. 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 All right. All right. We're back into open session. <laughs> Mr. Johnson. 
The time now is 6 16 p.m. We were in we are in open session and during closed session we took no action. All right. We have a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.